Good morning. Thousands of low-income families are being forced to turn down or give up work because of the rising cost of childcare in the UK. One story dominates this morning, anarchy across the UK. Chaos reigns as riots and looting take over London for a third night. We want to know your stories. If you're 18 or over, you can text us on 67890. Text costs 25 pence plus your standard network charge. More harrowing details have emerged of how a British woman was targeted by a killer on the Spanish island of Tenerife. CCTV pictures have emerged of Dayan Dayanov trying to buy a knife just minutes before the savage attack on Jennifer Mills Wesley. Live to the scene of the murder in the resort of Los Cristianos and our senior news correspondent Jonathan Swain. Jonathan, what have people there been telling you? In April, directors of Fairpack agreed to pay back £4 million, but customers still haven't seen the cash. Hello, I'm Tasman Lucia Khan with the latest headlines from BBC News. Israeli commandos have stormed a flotilla of boats that were trying to deliver aid to Gaza. We can cross live now to Los Angeles and talk to actor Jimmy Jean-Louis. Jimmy, thanks for joining us. Have you managed to get in touch with your mum and dad now? Because I know earlier you hadn't been able to reach them. Yes, this morning, finally, I was able to speak to my mum. You have other relatives there, you've got other family members. What are they saying? What are the scenes there? What we do know is that a local TV station in LA, KABC, and the Los Angeles Times are both saying that Michael Jackson's been taken to the UCLA Medical Center in Los Angeles. They say he wasn't breathing when the paramedics arrived at his home. The paramedics performed CPR and then took him to the UCLA Medical Center. Seven doctors who treated Michael Jackson in the years before his death will not face criminal charges. However, one has been referred to California's state medical board for prescribing drugs under an alias. Police in America have revealed how a seven-year-old had to plead for her life after a gunman killed her mother and four others at a trailer park in Kentucky before killing himself. The world's most wanted man, Osama bin Laden, has been killed. President Obama has been live on American television to announce the news. It follows a 10-year hunt for the mastermind of dozens of terror attacks across the world. Live now to our U.S. correspondent Nick Dixon in New York for us. Nick, the full details still trickling in. But what do we know so far about how Osama bin Laden was captured? Kate Middleton will enter Westminster Abbey this morning as a commoner and emerge an hour later as the future Queen Catherine. We have correspondents outside Westminster Abbey and in St Andrews where the couple first met. Excitement over the royal wedding has reached fever pitch in America where there's huge interest in the prince and his bride-to-be. Nick Dixon has the latest from New York. Can I please hear a tiny little bit of End of the Road? Sure. Yeah, you, you can actually brilliant. go to www.boysandmen.com. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But can so I hear it live? Yeah, yeah, we just got it. Can I hear it live, please? Yeah, sure, Thank sure, you. Sure. Right. For me. Let's get it. Uh, mm, two, three. All the way down to the end of the road. Still I can. It's unnatural, you belong to me, I belong to you. That brings back so many <laughs> memories. So many That's boys true. used that track on me, Definitely. it didn't work. Really? Well. <laughs> oh, man. We, gotta, we gotta do we some gotta more songs. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's not working. It's not working. The American actor was evicted last Friday, saying the show almost killed him. Well, earlier I caught up with him to find out what he made of his time in the House and who he thinks will take this year's crown. Well, the House rubbed me the wrong way, for sure. Did you have a soft spot for Ivana Trump? Because I saw you guys doing some sexy dancing. Ivana, if, what was Ivana, that? Ivana is, uh, you know, pretty, pretty light on her feet. Mm. It was a spectacular evening for the music world last night at the Brit Awards. And today, lots of the winners have seen their album sales jump overnight as a result. A look at a few other showbiz headlines now, and she's a bit posher than your average regular at Rover's return. But that didn't stop the Duchess of Cornwall pulling a pint of beer during a visit to the set of Coronation Street. Camilla walked along the famous Weatherfield cobbles to mark the programme's 50th anniversary before, of course, settling in nicely at the pub.